Hey, what's going on, family? What's up? You know what it is. It's your boy, Sir Loco. Uh, dropping another video. It's a new old shoe. And uh, just want to thank my new subscribers. Welcome to the family. You know how we do it around here. Walk with me and grow with me. And, uh, you know, today I got a new old shoe. It's new to me, but it's an old release of a Jordan 12. So with that being said, you know, I appreciate the love and support. We're on a road to 100 subs and uh you know share this video with your cousin your your family members <clears throat> whoever it may be and uh don't forget to give it a thumbs up hit that notification bell so that when your boy sir loco is uh cooking up some heat in the kitchen y'all be the first one of the first ones to get it and uh you know that's how we do it around here and please do subscribe you know it really helps a lot especially like uh with the thumbs up you know help you know with the algorithm and, and help it spread out and, and get more views and clicks and likes and like I said help this channel grow so I could bring you uh, not only the new releases but uh, maybe some early looks and uh, maybe uh, some old school throwbacks as well you know and uh, trying to reach that uh, that thousand you know subscriber uh, milestone you know so your boy could get a little bit monetized and you know be able to spend some of that bread on early releases and, and whatnot you know so uh, check out what your boy got on. Hey, Jordan 9 University Blues. Just a quick, uh, that's just a quick uh, drip check, if you will. But uh, but anyway, uh, let's get back. I don't want to take up any more of your time. Um, I want to try to get some daylight of the shoes I'm about to be unboxing and looking for the first time as well. So let's get to it. So like I said, let's get to it. This is a Jordan 12 uh, nylon. And uh, you know, I think this is one, uh, at least in the Jordan 12, they decided to go with a different upper and uh, they used nylon. You know, that's, the, that's the, the name of this particular shoe, the Jordan 12, uh, backed by uh, neoprene. And it's supposed to be waterproof. And uh, apparently when it released, like I said, in an original uh, release date, September 10, 2016, uh, and they retailed at 190 back then, and your boy paid resale for these. But uh, and the color scheme, and I'll be looking at it for the first time as well, as you can see as I'm unboxing. Uh, this color scheme is similar to the Jordan 12 Friends and Family PSNY, and PSNY stands for Public School New York City. And also too, it's got the same uh, uh, color scheme as. And the reverse taxis, they just said it doesn't have the gold, you know, eye, eyelids or eye sockets, whatever you want to call it. So I'm hoping these are in good condition. Uh, these are, what, four, five years old. And, uh, and I got this from everyone's favorite uh, resale place, you know, StockX. So hopefully these are good. They've been authenticated, so I don't know if that means anything nowadays. Uh... Your traditional Jordan 12 box, and if you ever bought anything from StockX, or if you you know you didn't, or you're about to, you know, it should come with some information, some some of these things, and uh, oh, wow. and so you know, I just wanted to get these because I am a fan of Jordan 12s and in general, you know, and. Uh, and it comes with one of these and uh you got that deal there which i'll probably cut off but i'm keeping these so just off real quick first look they look okay so i'm gonna go over it as i'm talking and so you know for those of y'all you know hey hop in the passenger seat buckle up and take a ride with your boy sir loco like i said once again uh, welcome and thank you to the new subscribers to the new family members, you know, so really, really appreciate that so just a Brief uh, Just a brief uh, history Of the Jordan 12 You know they first uh, originally released, you know for those of y'all that already know that's, that's beautiful and marvelous, you know, still stick around for the ride. And, uh, and for those uh, 
new sneakerheads or, or people who aren't familiar or wondering why people are infatuated with a particular shoe and, and with this shoe, not this particular nylon edition, whatever you want to call it, but in Jordan 12, you know, for the new sneakerheads or whatever the case may be, you know, maybe I'll give you all somewhat of understanding uh, of why people like a certain model shoe and this and that, you know, get a basic understanding of the shoe because every shoe has a story. As you can see, and on this channel, uh, you know, I'm a Jordan fan and uh, I am, you know, I love most of the most of the models, not all of them, but most of them I do, you know. So the original release date of uh, the Jordan 12 was 1996. As you already know, Michael Jordan played for the Chicago Bulls and that was the second go around for the for the second three P, 96, 97, 98. You know, so and they originally released, like I said, 1996, retail price of $135. Uh, and uh I think they came out with five original colorways back in 96 and you know over the years you know between 96 and and 2021 obviously they've been retro you know and, and more colorways and whatnot so uh you know i'm glad that they do so with that being said let, let, let's get a closer look on these shoes nylon and also too i want want to pose you a question you know are these the worst 12s to be released ever you know, that's a question I'm posing to you, and uh, when I get to that in a minute, but why I'm asking that question, you know, are these the worst Jordan 12 uh, ever released? And uh, on these particular shoes. And then also, too, you know, drop a comment down below and, and, and say, you know, which, which is your least uh, Jordan 12, if, you know, if you're a fan of the Jordan 12, which is the least. Uh, I guess garbage uh, Jordan 12 if you will uh, if there is one so you know drop a comment let me know and uh, also drop a comment whether you're a fan of the Jordan 12s or not and uh, you know it's all good you know what I mean so and by the way I'm not I don't claim to know everything so you know if, if I do make an error or a mistake please do drop a comment and uh, you know uh, let your boy know you know hey I ain't too proud, you know, hey, when I mess up or make a mistake, please do correct me. You know, that's what's special about this channel, you know, we, we got to keep each other honest, you know. So, uh, with that being said, let's get a close-up of these shoes. So, there you have it. That's your uh, Jordan 12 nylon. And, uh, you know, your basic colorway, as you can see, is black-white. And uh, you got your red there, you know, on the bottom. And then on the tongue, you got the jump man. And the reason I ask if these were the worst Jordan 12 release ever, because I had to dig up some old footage, you know, when these first released. And apparently, from what I got from just a couple of the videos that I watched, you know, that they sat on shelves. And these didn't get much love. And, uh, you know, OGs and... Uh, you know, Jordan 12 uh, silhouette fans in general, I guess, weren't pleased with the new material. And on top of that, Jordan 12 with this particular model is the first time that they did not use, as far as I know, that they did not use your traditional, you know, leather for your upper there. Or New Buck suede. Those are the two main fabrics that they use on the 12. And so this is the first time that they use the nylon, which is backed by neoprene. And another cool thing is that they're waterproof. You know, and like I said, this might be the first time in, in any Jordan model. And like I said, correct me, y'all, that they use neoprene or nylon as an upper. You know, for the majority of the upper. But as far as I know, at least for the 12, for the sake of this video, uh, it is the first time that they use this material on a Jordan 12. Uh, nylon backed by neoprene like I said it's waterproof so that's pretty cool so again like I said for for the new sneakerheads new generation or for those maybe that didn't know and for those of y'all that already know you know it's all good you know we all learn together and grow together you know and walk together you know like I said that's 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 our motto around here and uh, 
so yeah so people weren't weren't too happy about the upper so as you can see the lines there you know tinker hatfield obviously you know this was uh his uh ninth iteration or collaboration with jordan and the inspiration behind this shoe is as you can see the lines on the upper there is the japanese flag the rising sun the rays right and another inspiration is a woman's shoe from the 19th century and hopefully i'm pronouncing it right but it's uh like nasaki you know as you can see the heel show around a toe guard now i don't know if the ogs were a little bit more squared off a little bit but uh as far as the women's shoe uh that i've seen images of you know they were like the toe guard or the toe box was a little bit like squared off but that's the inspiration of the jordan 12. the the rays of the japanese sun and the woman's shoe which is pretty dope i think you know 19th century woman's shoe and this one here has your traditional you know leather there on the side then you got your little little plate there like all your jordan 12s has and then your mud guard you know i don't know under they look to me they look like a python you know like skin like it's rubber obviously but like python uh you know uh designs or hits if you will now let me get uh you got the 23 back there and uh, all jordan 12s this is uh feels like leather synthetic leather or rubber it's pretty smooth it's too smooth to tell but but all jordan 12s you know come with this it says jordan back there and obviously you're not going to read it because my camera is not that good you have the jump man there and underneath the jordan it says uh inspired by the greatest basketball player ever and we all know who that is mj baby so you got the 23 back there you got that little rubber slash maybe synthe synthetic uh leather uh heel pull tab and uh look at it look at it from a distance you can see it you know it looks like a dress shoe and i always say that in all my videos you know it, it jordan you know always you know elegance performance and comfortability and i can't wait to get these on feet and i will have these on get you a little bit better lighting you know i like these i like these you know but like i said back back in 2016 they they, they sat they sat on shelves and i guess they didn't get too much love but shoot they'll get love for me and you know tell me what y'all think you know you'll like it and uh like i said you got your leather there And like I said, that bottom rubber mud guard, if you will, is like a python snake skin, if you will. I mean, not that material, but I'm saying what what it resembles. That's your leather there around the toe box. You got the well. Let me pick it up. Pick it up to the light. I don't know if y'all could pick it up, but you know, jump man, little little tab there. And also too, the Jordan 12 model was the first time uh Jordan introduced uh Zoom Air in it in its shoe. You know, Jordan 12 was the first uh Jordan model to to feature the Zoom Air. And it's in the forefront there where that pot is. And on the heel. And you got your herringbone outsole there. And then in between there, you know, you have uh, your carbon fiber there in between the lines there. And uh, I'm trying to look at it. Like I said, my, my camera doesn't do it any justice. But that's carbon fiber in between those lines there. You got your two pods there where the air zoom units uh are located at 
in the forefront and on the heel. And then you got your jump man there in the front around the toe box and on the outsole. And then you got your red 23 there. You know. And also too, Jordan wanted something different besides the number uh, 23 on it. And like I said, excuse uh, my camera doesn't do it, but those of y'all who have 12s, y'all know. Um, he wanted uh, the 2, 3. Kind of, you know, spelled out the word 2 and then uh, the number 3. As y'all can see there. 2, 3, 23. You know, they wanted to do something different besides just have his number. Like on his, on his shoes, which they all do anyway, but... Uh, as far as on the tongue area, you know, spelling it out, two, and then the number three. It's got rope laces, and uh, the material feels like the neoprene material. Like I said, it's waterproof, which I think is pretty cool. So I think the tongue is, is, is a neoprene nylon as well. It would make no sense to not have the tongue waterproof as well, you know. <laughs> but it's a clean shoe. I like it. You know, you know, it was ahead of its time, like I said. Jordan 12 featured the, the Zoom Air, the inspiration behind the shoe, and you got your black uh, eyelids there, you know, eye sockets, whatever you want to call them up there. And it's got Jumpman's on there. And uh, also, too, these resemble like the reverse taxi, just that the reverse taxi has gold, and the Jumpman's red, and then back here the heel tab is, is like, you know, different color, you know, whatnot. Uh, but I like these. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about these. Are, are these the worst Jordan 12s to ever release? And you already know, my opinion is, is no. And uh, Red Jumpman in there. And like I said, you know, hey, hit that thumbs up. Welcome to the family. Please do subscribe. Like I said, there's a bunch of stuff that's released over years past and uh i would love to get my hands on them and just just to show y'all and share it with my family you know but right now you know hey i just just can't do it right now but you know hopefully once i reach that milestone of a thousand subscribers i'll be, i'll be able to do it so i uh, appreciate y'all and, and enough of me jibbing and jabbing hopefully y'all learned something and if you, there's anything else to add to this Jordan 12, uh, if not this particular model, to Jordan 12 in general, any other little golden nuggets, by all means, drop a comment and let your boy know. Another uh, 12 that has all leather uppers and to feel any difference in weight. And, uh, man, to be honest, it, I don't feel much difference. And, you know, it might be a fraction lighter because... It doesn't have all upper leather so I mean that not much of a difference but just a hair lighter uh, but anyway let me try my feet one more fit but waterproof ain't that cool so I know a lot of times you know the OGs or uh, you know, and shoes don't like change or whatever, you know, and sometimes, you know, Jordan brand or, or a particular, uh, uh, you know, company or whatnot, you know, sometimes they get it right, sometimes they don't, but, you know, hey, they got to try and, and kind of put it out there and, and see, see if anybody, you know, likes it or whatnot, but like I said, these didn't get much, much love on release day, but uh, to me, and I'm going to answer the question for this particular shoe, uh, I know it's not out if, if you're interested in buying it, you know check the resale, you know aftermarkets out there uh, I did not pay what they're asking for now. I kind of lucked out on these even though it was above retail obviously, but not Nowhere near, you know what it is now, you know as, as far as in stock X, you know kind of like jump double when I when I purchased these but uh, let me try on one more fit and uh, like I said my answer to, is this the, the worst Jordan 12 release? For me, it's no. So let me drop one more fit and then we're gonna close it out. You know, and, and this particular color scheme, I mean, you, you can pretty much rock it with anything. You know, black goes with anything. And uh, like I said, 
I'm a Jordan fan, I'm a Bulls fan, and uh, also too, before I forget, I don't know if y'all knew that Dick Sporting Goods, of all places, you know, to increase y'all chances in, uh, you know, copying the latest drops and whatnot, uh, they're starting to have in-store raffles, so your boy got a wristband for, for uh, Jordan 5 uh, Moonlights, I'm going to pick them up Saturday, so be on the lookout for that review, but that was a surprise to me, you know, Dick Sporting Goods, so if y'all knew, cool. If y'all didn't know, you know, hit the thumbs up or drop a comment. And I don't think it's forever released. You have to look online and ask specific locations on, on where, you know, they're going to do that, you know, the wristband and whatnot. So uh, with that being said, I won't take up any more of your time. Uh, like I said, I want to thank the new family members. Uh, one more time, if you made it this far and this is your first time watching it, one of my videos, hopefully y'all like it. Hit that thumbs up, notification bell. Please do subscribe and you know help this channel grow. So with that being said, have a good evening, a good morning, a good afternoon, whatever time of the day y'all watching this. And uh, until next time, hopefully y'all like this little, this little you know shoot that I brought to the channel, you know just for a peek and whatnot. So uh, will they be releasing another neoprene nylon 12 or or another different model? I don't know. Only time will tell. But I hope they do, because your boy Sherlock will definitely look into it. So with that being said. Until next time, peace.